How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use display capture inside of Streamlabs OBS. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to go ahead and take a look around. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon as well. So display capture, what you're going to want to do is create a scene. And when you have your scene created, click on the plus, go over to display capture. Now, it basically does exactly what it says. Capture your entire computer monitor, primary monitor, secondary monitor, or however mo many monitors you have. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is click on Add Source, give it a name, Add Source, and now you can see I have three different monitors to capture from. So you guys can see that I have OBS right here as one capture. I have my smaller monitor to the side, which is actually a TV that's hooked up by an HDMI. And that's got everything you guys can see me talking and everything moving around. And then also over here is my XSplit, which is what I'm using to record my Streamlabs OBS side, because I'm also using display capture over there, or desktop capture, monitor capture, whatever they call it over there. But yeah, that's basically what it is. and it's only going to allow you to capture whatever you guys have on there. So I'm not going to show anything on the screen like that just because it, it gets really crazy. But basically what the display capture does is what you just saw. It brings up whatever it is on whichever monitor you have. So this is usually good for when people want to show maybe something on their website or if they're streaming and they want to show an article that they're looking at or if they are showing some YouTube videos that they have posted and they want to just show it right off of the browser. Maybe also someone's having some problems with a uh, something like a maybe a bot or something and they're streaming and someone's like, oh, well, go ahead and pull it up on your stream. Let me take a look at it. So they'll be like, okay, well, I'll, I'll use the display capture and I'll, I'll bring it up real quick. So that's, that's pretty much what it is. It's also good for people who are playing on PC games because sometimes if you're using like game capture or video game capture or whichever variation it is, they sometimes don't always pick it up and sometimes you need to use display capture for it. And that's a good way of being able to get a workaround from game capture. But in a nutshell, it just basically captures everything that's on your screen. <laughs> that's basically it. But anyway, guys, if you are new to the channel, be sure to go ahead. Like I said, take a look around. And if you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.